What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of A Different Perspective. And on today's episode, we will be discussing some changes and the new direction that this channel will be going through to get you guys more involved in these upcoming challenges. So in a nutshell, what we're trying to do is not just give the challenge in the video and then come back in the next episode and discuss how we approached it, but instead do it all in one. So we're going to give you the challenge and show you how we approached it on the same day. Perfection. And we hope by changing up the format and submitting our photos first that this gives you inspiration to get out there, do these challenges and get more involved when we post our photo challenges. Right, so the whole idea is to just get you guys more involved. So whatever we can do to make that easier for you, we're going to do so. And the way we're gonna start is to make the challenges a little bit more specific. That way you don't have to do as much personal brainstorming because we know your lives are already really busy. So we'll try to come up with a better, more specific challenge that you can just go and execute quickly and kind of put your own spin on it. And that way we can get more submissions and share more from the community. So we'll be switching a little bit more focused on our Instagram page, you know, posting more to our stories, posting more of the community's work. That way, again, we can get you guys more involved. So we'll be doing things like putting stories out there, asking you guys what you want the next challenge to be, leaving it open so you can suggest what you want to see, what you want to learn about, and also what you want those challenges to be. And this doesn't mean that we're going to be neglecting YouTube at all. It just means we're going to kind of repurpose it for more long form content. So for those of you who are in a rush, you can just watch the Instagram story, get the challenge, see how we did it and go with it. But if you want more tutorial based stuff or better explanations or a little more in-depth uh, discussion, that's what we're going to be reserving YouTube for so that you can kind of pick and choose what you want during that episode. And then that will also give us some more flexibility on how we approach each challenge in future episodes. And maybe we can bring on more guests and get a little more experimental depending on what you guys are interested in. So that's all for our future challenges and also the new direction of the channel. Let's talk about our last episode's challenge, which was self portraits. OK, so for my self portrait, I decided to go out into the field, I have a little tiny dirt bike track that I've created out there that I've had for a long time. And I decided it'd be kind of cool to just show a bit of who I am by being on my motorcycle and enjoying the outdoors and the beauty that is, you know, Wyoming, where I live. So I took this and it ended up being a bit of a long exposure, which was really cool. So the exposure time was about half a second. Um, the clouds were already wispy, so that's actually not movement from the exposure but um, it is still really cool. You can kind of see a little bit of blur here and the grass and all that stuff. It was really awesome. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the raw file anymore. I removed it from my Lightroom library unintentionally, so I just imported this JPEG to show you. The only thing I really did in this image was just make the sky look the way that I saw it out there, which was this really amazing light blue, and then down here it was super bright orange. And then I crushed the blacks so that my motorcycle and the silhouette of me would be blacked out pretty well. And that's essentially all I did. Maybe boosted the um, saturation quite a bit and probably some of the dehaze that's that's it for my submission so it was really fun the way that i actually shot this just fyi was i put my camera on a tripod and i set it for a time lapse and i just time lapsed for about 45 minutes and uh, every five seconds or so it took a picture so i just took a different pose each time um, and when i filtered through all the images this was the best one so and there is my final result show you real quick how I took three different images to create this multi-exposure effect in my portrait photo. And here are the separate images that I edited together in Photoshop. This is a sped up process of how I use the magic wand tool along with a layer mask to separate my silhouette. And to prepare this image of downtown Buffalo, I used a combination of the magic eraser tool and the pen tool to make selections and erase the sky. Now, combining all of the images together and lining everything up, I used a layer mask of my silhouette on the city image and used the city image as an inverted selection to erase portions of my head on the silhouette. 
And to finish this all up, I use the screen blend mode on my city photo and drop the opacity to 50% as well as dropping the opacity on my silhouette to 90%. And then finally, I just made the decision to go with black and white on this one. So guess what time it is? It's not photo challenge time. Yeah, you heard us right. So this episode, because of the changing format, we are not going to give a challenge. That way uh, we can kind of resume on the next one and give the challenge and actually share our process so we can actually start that. So to do it properly, we kind of have to skip this challenge, but that doesn't mean it's time for you to not pick up your camera every day, okay? Don't, don't skimp on us. Still share your photos, but there won't be an official challenge until next episode. So definitely keep an eye on our Instagram page at a different perspective TV for these new challenges that will be coming your way. And also keep an eye out for shorter form uh, challenges and, and just new things coming to the page. Like we said, we're going to focus a lot of our attention on that page. Yeah, and just so you know, there may be some smaller challenges that we post exclusively to Instagram. So if you want to make sure you're getting all of the inspiration that you can, follow us there and keep an eye on it. And then also to keep things a little bit easier for Instagram, when you post your photos, just use hashtag ADP challenge so we can get notified when you post your photos for these challenges. Don't forget ADP stands for a different perspective. So when we're talking about collaborating with people online, um, it's all a different perspective from each one of you. So ADP challenge. So a different perspective challenge of the same subject, basically. ADP challenge, hashtag. Hashtag ADP challenge, don't forget. Represent. All right, so that's basically it. Last thing we have for you is make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already and turn on the notifications. That way you know when we drop the more elaborate tutorials and stuff here. Otherwise, we will see you over on Instagram. So that's basically it. <coughs> All right. <laughs>